Welcome back, guys, to Horizon Zero Dawn, where last episode, after returning to the Kaja border fort and gearing up with new weaponry, we talked to Zaid, the suspicious party in her daughter's vengeance, in a bid to ascertain the location of the missing Nora woman, sending us out into Kaja territory, where we found an entered Colton Row, which we now continue exploring. I am the wind. I am the perfect. I may have failed because I was off the ground. Okay, maybe not perfect. I suddenly ended up off the ground. That's what I'll blame it on. Well, I went in for a slide and I was like at this height. Not good. Well, no matter what, it was the last one. That's also partly why I ran in anyway. Need them soon enough. Which way do you actually want me to go? Okay, so I can hack this down here. I don't really probably want to fall down the cracks like that. Again. It's a guy in here. How do I get out of the water? There we go. I can climb up there. Let's try to press jump. Or, you know, climb in general to try and get out. That didn't work. I mean, that looks like the direction I probably should be going. But there's a path up here. Which is probably going to lead to another supply crate. Do I not already have enough Ridgewood? So, that said, there's a lot of metal shards in here. That was 183 metal shards in one box. Maybe I can buy the good stuff again. Another pulsing robotic organ. A lovely. I don't know what I should actually get at this point as my next thing. Use R1 while aiming to notch an additional arrow on all bow weapons. That's kind of cool. Fast reload while using a triple shot as well. Heavy spear attacks will knock down machines faster is probably actually quite good to go for. <laughs> but yeah, disarming traps and being able to do the weapon coils probably should be what I go for so I can... Splays they're pumping. Oh, okay. Should probably have realized... There was a dude right above me. I can still get the upper hand. I've got the upper hand, see? Wait, what?
Oh no, evil chicken! It's fine, they don't actually know where I am. Oh, it's not fine! It's not fine! <laughs> right next to me. Go away, evil chicken. That's the wrong attack. Probably an evil chicken behind me now. I keep listening for enemies, really, haven't I? Thought he would attack me then. robots in the room. I think our chicken friend is still alive somewhere, I thought. Unless something happened to him. But I'll take this time to override this thing, you know? Oh yeah, there's definitely an enemy. Sudden, there was a very big boy in my face. What happened to the chicken? Seems you can very easily aim high with that, by the way. I, oh, there is. No, that's one chicken I killed, but there was another chicken I fought. For a few minutes anyway. You actually killed it when it hit you? Oh, nice. Chicken went to the fast food joint. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. Well, if that's the case, then I need to go up there. I'm going to drop this gun down here, and I imagine the gun won't be able to go with me at the end. There's still a lot of this room to check out as a whole. Well, that didn't work out too badly. Tripwires and pathways. I think they're my best friends. Mr. Tripwire, Mr. Pathway, you do some good work for me. You honestly do. I rely on them to get the job done. What's he even doing? Call it the moshing machine. Doesn't actually seem to be anything else to do in here. Including alternate routes and chests. It doesn't look like there's anything to pick up.
Give me my big gun. I mean, it does 90 damage in one hit. It's just... You've got to lead the shot. Is... No, I can't fight. No, my gun. You've got to lead the shot is number one. Really? I thinking I could grab onto there, but I guess because I can't hang. Looks like something's here again. What is that? So any robot that looks purely robotic is generally non-hostile. Or at least seems to not want to openly kill me. To go. The belly of this giant beast. Sounds like a dumb idea. Wait, right, I see ya. Oh shoot! No, why did you jump like that? Why? Just jump the gap. It wasn't that hard. I could have done it. Unathletic me could have done it. You didn't have to go for the hard mode option. What did I miss by not going up there, I wonder? Scare gems. It's like all of a sudden she jumps to be exactly falling. Like, okay. We know you're very strong. But you could have cleared that jump. This for the trail. You were on an elevation, you had speed, and it, the gap wasn't that big. That's where I need to go. I wonder if I'm going to miss anything in these cauldrons at this rate, but that's where I need to go. Oh, and what? A crocodile! This is a free set which weakness is piercing. The top, the body is, the, the blaze cannon is the weakness of fire and stuff. And the body's weakness is fire. Oh, not a crocodile. Alligator, I don't know, snapper, whatever it's called. I mean, I guess at least I'm not flying it on a tiny island this time. That was the real ball ache. Why can I not pick you up? Oh, okay. Camera angle matters. Uh. Hello. How would you want me to move on? I mean, that's the door. I get that. Do you just want me to fall down? Is that even the correct way? <laughs> I don't even know if that is the correct way. I think it is. But the way it makes it look like I want to fall down, I do not trust. And I don't know where the last checkpoint was because it's not like you can hit bump, you know, bonfires to save while you're going through here. I don't see any obvious handholds. You get the thing here, nothing upwards. I think it's water below me though. Yeah, but it's just very kind of hard to see because of all the steam. <laughs> Definitely water. <laughs> Maybe I should have turned my brightness up. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't exactly tell, it could have been acid, man.
am I supposed to know? So last time I accidentally rolled off here. This time we'll go down of our own free will. Wait, the crocs see me? I just lose health by being too near the the shield. I think I lost health from touching the shield while I was sliding in to beat this guy. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Not so good. All right, Croc. No, actually, yeah. I'll chuck a rock. <laughs> Why not? It's a shock trap. Better watch for these shock traps, Mr. Croc. Gonna get you with the old Croc shock. Good old Croc shock. Time to fight then, right? Run away! He's gonna explode! Wait, he didn't explode. Oh no! Sir Croco, don't join the battle. Oh, the croc is after the guy. Covered my gun. Don't explode now, Crocker. Ah! I guess I'm not allowed the gun. Preemptive shots, sir. They're getting on my nerves. I don't want it. No, no. <laughs> there, I finally blew one up. Well, I didn't get to use the gun, but I did kill him. <laughs> 
He's on fire. A fire coil modification. I'll take it. That's annoying. I really wanted to use that gun, but he wouldn't let me get it. I mean, it makes sense. That gun does a lot of damage. I'll tuck that away. As I leave my traps behind. Not that I don't have the money to just craft myself some more, really. So if I override that, will that just put it back up top again? And did he hit a single one of the traps I put down? One. I can't retake them, so I'll just have to get them in boxes. Which, to be honest, we have a ton of them. So it's fine. We beat Mr. Shot Crocs, so life is not bad. I guess I didn't take the loot off the last one. Whatever. Did take him off this guy. And that is another golden gun. Should give us more hacking capabilities. That's it. More machines I can override. Which machines can I now do? Long leg, trampler, ravager, snap more, and shell walker. It's an interesting amount. And another data log. Production oversight analysis, active, additive manufacture type, intrusion source external, can measure phase shift, intrusion denied, intrusion source external. That's what we heard from the other one. Can I measure phase shift, breach firewall, reboot purge successful, intrusion denied. It's telling us a little bit more than the previous one did. Uh, how do I get out? Guess now I just uh, get out normally. I'm ready. Gotta be. I think they'll probably be looking that way for a little bit. In terms of skill points, we picked up two there. Oh, look, I could have taken the disarmed chaps and got my traps back. I'll take it just so I can get Tinker soon. That one dropped to gold. More successful stealth? <laughs> Was that too aggressive for you? <laughs> I didn't get seen at all! <laughs> By the metrics of the game, anyway. Good for an old remedy. Right then, so where do we go from here? Campfire? There's a bird? Whatever that means, I don't know. There's another campfire. There's a campfire up there. The... That's a hunting ground? Is that a hunting ground? I don't even know what that is. There's a something, a trader, and our quest is up there. We could just stick to the path, I guess. Doesn't hurt to sometimes do things like a normal person. Or a more normal person. I got the fireworks on the crock very well, eh? That's some uh, rocky terrain. Though a bit of an overcast sky. I haven't really tried to take on the crabs. I hear you, turkey. We beat one, of course. But one is one. No rain in a while, yeah. 
A lot of darkness, however. My goodness, it's so far to go. <laughs> well, there's a tall neck on the way, so I guess we should hit that. That's pretty much our priority. Sheen Convoy Shell Walkers. Here they come. I have summoned a lot of dudes after me here. How much damage I do to a crab? Oh, that actually did hit, still hit me even after I did the attack. Ooh, what did I hit then? I hit its bottom shock particles, or whatever it was. Uh, great success. He had under bottom shock blasters or something. I don't know. Can't be too prepared. And got to look at these robots' undersides to find out what's really going on. More health, please. I really need it. Took down the convoy though. The busticles. We need to get bust. We got all this stuff. We knocked it all off with those tearing arrows from range. I also killed a boar in the middle of that. I didn't even realize. I say it, we killed a boar. It's more like the boar is collateral damage. Wrong place, wrong time. Just like this dude. Big boys everywhere in there at the moment. It's like the boys got the signal. <laughs> One of these days we'll get it. Okay, what's that? And how is it going to kill me? Sending the signal. Yeah, but there's a big bird too. Might be very hard to climb on top of that. That thing in the sky. Level 18. Sorry to spoil your fun. I'm out of range. Of course, I just straight up fire at the bird. Tramplers? I'm not sure I've seen them before. Alright. What do you do? I might have popped something. Just gonna point out if you die up there. Now come towards me. Thank you. 
Wait, are you alive still? Nice. I seem to have hit something that popped open its chill compartment, froze it, and allowed it to get easily wrecked. So that worked. Also, a fox died <laughs> in the middle of the bombing. I think it may be that... Oh, no, I got that pig. That was me. That was me. So, okay, uh, drop down a little bit more. Great. Uh, okay. Where's the tool? Need to get up to the tall next head. Wow, do I not want to fall in. If I fall in, I'm probably dead, right? <laughs> 